Ball gloves to do our warm up ball handling drills, our two ball drill. The D cone is a perfect complement. We have everything you need from ball handling gloves, bump pads, shooting eggs, and cones. Go to ballhawkgloves.com. You keep first. working with these gloves until you can do that drill, until you can handle the ball the right way. You know, Jack Vaughn had alluded to that, that he might play limited minutes here tonight. Bridges in the next now, an 11-0 run that ends there with a Brook Lopez three. Brooklyn, we look at Mikel Bridges, the way he's shooting this nice attack right there by Drew. Well, Brook once again, not that time, but another opportunity. Grayson doesn't hesitate, finding a cutting Brook Lopez, gives it right back to Grayson, sets his feet and fires and hits. Yeah, and you feel like the Bucks aren't the only team that's going to be shooting Drew. That's, <laughs> that's pretty impressive. Tip out to Grayson, a deep one, no problem. And you would think that, you know, with Coach Bud and John Horace and the analysts, all the front office guys are trying to always find how do we get better by 1%? How do we have an edge? How do we do something a little bit different? Great block right there by Brooke. Brooke didn't like that. He, <laughs> but I'm going to get this block on Patty Mills. Got it on the glass. Noel with the block sends it back the other way. And here come the Nets. Sort of era of this year on the roster. Their three point field goal percentage was much better and more efficient than what it's been in the last 10 games. Brooke flips it up with the left hand. Might have been a little too open on that one, but just running the wings, setting those feet. Obviously, that's the shot you want to take. So slowed down a little bit in the second quarter. Brooke sends it back. Five serve loves it. So he goes trying to hunt down some paint points. Brooke has his back. Brooke Lopez now with seven points. How about that? Well, the first lineup, it didn't work there. <laughs> They're down heavy in the first half, so Coach Vaughn said, guess what, we're going to try something different. Floater there for Chris Thap. It is the G League Long Island Nets top scorer, averaging about 23 points. Brooke with the back down. Look, you shot the ball well in the first half. You've got a nice lead. They're switching their lineup up. Nice follow again by Brooke. And so I do think you have to, this has to be on the Bucks. Eight points now for him. In seven minutes of play. And he's only, this is his tenth game of the season in the league. Brooke Lopez has another bucket. He's got 13 in the game. And the Nets are hot for three in the second half. Five of six. Brooke Lopez off balance. Tough shot to make with 15 points now. By 20, this is a fair expectation as Brooke misses that one. To think that the Bucks are going to play as well up by 20 as they were that. Oh, Brooke Lopez, yet another swap. Smith going to test him again. Now he learned his lesson. Watanabe flips it over cross court. Patty Mills, Brooke got a piece again. Make it six in the game. Boy, nothing's falling. Brooke wanted to call. I was looking at John Goble. Not going to give it to him. Just a five-point edge now here for the Bucks. Brooke got another piece. See if they give it to him. Drew with the back down. Finding Brooke Lopez. Steps right into it. Brooke Lopez now with 18 points. His second three-point make. That forces a timeout. Let's we'll call the timeout. We'll see what the Bucks come up with it here. Touches over to Brooke Lopez. 4-3. He's hit some big ones here in the second half. Grayson, good hustle. Wow, the Nets get it right back though. Shot right pass. Brooke was challenging. Looks like he'll pick up his third personal. Upon review, the challenge is successful. The contact with the hand is in contact with the ball. Therefore, it's a legal block. As a result of the play, there was imminent possession by Milwaukee. As, as you heard John Goble's explanation after this play, instead of a jump ball situation, it'll be Milwaukee basketball. And that's interesting hearing that language that the Bucks then had imminent possession. What a strange game here tonight. The lead was as many as 22. Drew Holiday not there. Brooke Lopez with the tip and a crucial bucket for Splash Mountain in the lane. Thomas with a step back. Besides not the pull, Thomas has got 14 points in the fourth quarter. 